it's electric, that's for sure. Warning has been issued at the late PM of the following Mountain East and Warren and the Missouri Independent City of St. Louis. The National What's Weather Service there? in St. Louis has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Franklin County, Gasconade County, southwestern St. Charles County, southeastern Warren County, and the late PM. At 7.08 PM, National Weather Service Doppler radar indicated a severe thunderstorm capable of producing large destructive hail up to tennis ball size. Possible tornado, possible tornado. In between the trees. In between the trees, I'm... See it? Yep. Possible tornado. some rotation right back there where I saw it. A serious storm, you need to just have Misty follow the radar, and when the storm in Chesterfield Valley gets to you, take cover. Man, I cannot tell if anything is going like that anymore.
Okay. And it's over what? Champ. Champ. Oh, shit, that's doing more. Okay. No wonder they got the highway closed down here. Is that in line with our house too? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's in line with our house. Yeah. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. What? Okay. I'm on 270 North. Uh, we're coming up to Darset. We just had to go through uh, big mass police cars. Three of the five, uh, three of the four lanes are shut down, so we just lost a whole bunch of time sitting on the I just broke, I just broke three of it right now. No, I'm not anywhere near that yet. I'm, I'm at 270 and 70 in about uh, three minutes. That must be. Whoa, major movement in here. Yeah, I see it. Okay, we got a visual on We got a visual. No, just on the. I don't see a tornado there yet, although there could be. We got trees in the way yet. Did they rotate it? Oh, we see the big lower in here. There's a lot of movement in it. Brian's seeing a lot of movement. I'm kind of driving, so I, I can't, can't help see really anything yet. Oh, damn, okay, will do. All right, thanks. Bye. That probably is it, actually. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He says there should be a tornado. Yeah. The bree ball. That's coming right at us, ain't it? Maybe. Oh my, there's a funnel under it. Pull up, pull up, pull up. So what is that is? Can't tell. Or would it be further up? That doesn't make sense because... The base looks like it's up here yet. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. I don't think that's it. I don't either. Okay, we are at Highway 270 northbound, about a half a mile or so from the interchange of I-70. We just had a tornado pass through the area just to the north of us here. We'll zoom in. You can see the flashing lights up there. There's a report of a tractor trailer on the side up there. You also see the uh, southbound lanes here are completely blocked as well. I don't think we'll be able to see it, but we do have we do have debris around here. The highway has been completely blocked. Okay, run it here. Got cars all the way back down the line here. As you can see, the southbound lanes are completely empty over here. Up in that area up there. That is actually a road up there. And there are trees completely blocking that road. There is no power at all in the neighborhood. There's debris on the side of the road here. The tree limbs in the tree have been snapped in this particular spot. I don't know if you can see up there, but that actually is a tractor trailer that's been thrown into the ditch on this side.
folks who were listening uh, and are listening and, and were involved in that, we'd love to hear from them too, Bill, because that's a tall building and you're pretty well naked right there as it comes at you. And it's all glass all around you. Mm -hmm. Bill, thank you for the call. I appreciate those uh, those uh, anecdotes of uh, something that was so close and such a relief but such a scary situation on this Easter weekend as we start. We're going to take a little break here. When we come back, we invite your calls. It is your turn here on KMOX. I'm Ralph Razak. And the number is 436-7900. From wherever you're hearing us, 1-800-925-1120. While there was storm activity... Too